Hello everyone! I have already finished with my science programs. Now I'll make a new thing about games. I'll start with the easiest one called Maze. Now let's get started! These are what you need to make a maze game. First, prepare a picture of a maze. You can draw and color it by yourself. Next, create a player and traps. You can make your own rules, like the lives and points. Now, let's do the code. First, we need to code the movements. I use Sprite Direction Block to make my sprite turns 90 degrees. I use Set Rotation Style Block to make my sprite rotates all around. I use Point Towers Block to make my sprite moves according to the mouse pointer. I use Move Steps Block to make my sprite moves forward two steps. Then we're gonna code the rules. I use forever block to repeat the codes until the game ends. The game ends when the life drops to zero. Are you in the game? After you lose or win to end the game, you need to add a stop block. Stop block will stop all the codes from working. Here, we're gonna learn about sensings. Sensings can help to set the rules. I use touching block to make my sprite do the codes when it's touching these two boulders. I use touching color block to make my sprite do the codes when it's touching a color. Next, we need to go to variable. You can set your own variable, like lives and points. I have already showed you how to set a variable in my previous video about total eclipses. But this time, I use variable to set the rules. Let's take a look at my game. This is one player game. In this game, you need to touch the star to gain a score. If you touch those big boulders, you will lose one life. And if you touch the wall, you will lose one life. Now let's try it. Whoops. Oh no! Now let's try it again. This time I'll win. Let the boulders pass. Yay! I win the game! Thank you for watching! Hope you like my game! Do you like games as much as I do? Well, you can comment down below. See you next time!